Well, it's Sunday, March 11th, and there's an update to my engine stand. I've put a lot of work in it the last few days. As you can see, we got the six inch cashers on there. And we got all of our cross bracing put on it. And then down here on the legs, um, I went back and forth on making them adjustable, but I went ahead and did it. Uh, as you can see, one, two, three, four. It can, has a little bit of adjustment up and down. The jack part worked out pretty nice. I was able to, uh, it helps balance the motor. So if you raise it up or down a little bit, then you can put a level on, on the intake and uh, balance it out. And there's plenty of clearance for the flex plate to turn. And again, this jack doesn't hold a, a lot of weight. It just helps balance the motor. You can see on this side here, where we welded it up, put a, a little 45 in here uh, just, just to help brace it. Got it all welded. I haven't went through and cleaned everything up yet, but originally, my original plan I was going to take some angle and uh, use them for motor mounts. You know, cut my, my holes here, but uh, I was off on my measurements a little bit and I bought some 2x2 two two, and it's about 3.5 inches from bolt to bolt. As you can see here, 3.5 inches, which wouldn't have cleared the other mount, so I had to uh, improvise a little bit. So I took the 2x2, two two, overlapped it, welded on the bottom and the top and then took some uh, one inch by one inch I'm not sure if it's what the thickness is it's thicker than an eighth but anyway took that and uh, made my new mounts and had to leave just enough room on each side so I could turn my bolts and weld it up and bolt it on it seems to work out pretty good my angle is eighth inch um, some people think that's a little thin, but, you know, the, the strength is this way that I'm using it, not side to side. So, and we got our, uh, my piece here. I had a piece of pipe where I went through this, um, one and a half by one and a half by three sixteenths, welded the pipe in. Then on the back side, which you can't see, I had to kind of angle that down to give it clearance. Um, I put the headers on last night. They do fit. There's a little bit of a, it's pretty close in here, but they, they fit, they clear. So, like I said, it's come along. Um, by no means am I working in a big shop. I'm doing all this on my garage floor in a two-car garage. Um, I'm not a, a certified welder. I've taken a couple classes, and I got a couple welders over here. As you can see, I got a... A little Lincoln Weld Pack 100, which I tack things together with that, and then I try to follow it up with my stick water. Uh, just to show you a little bit of what I'm working with, got my cherry picker over there. Do have a nice air compressor um, for air tools and whatnot. Of course, I got my welders. Then over here, just kind of got my tools up out where I can get to them. I did order one of those kits. I think I ordered it from J.C. Whitney where you can get all different nuts and bolts and stuff, and it's worked out pretty nice. Let's see, I just I need to go through and replenish some. Then my toolbox here. And the, one of the biggest investments I made for, just for this project is this drill press here. Then I went out bought one of these little shop fox I mean it's not a super high dollar I think it was 70 bucks but it makes it nice especially when I had to drill out these holes here I just took my time and uh, I tacked both pieces together marked it and drilled it so so far it seems to turn out pretty good I mean there's a few things I would have done different um, one of the main things I would have probably done different if I had to do it over again 
is I probably would have made these pieces here first and then built my frame around them because I had the frame built and then when I put these pieces in it, it they moved fine. But then when I welded in my 45s, uh, I think it, it, it might have tweaked it a little bit. So this, this front piece, it moves kind of snug. I mean, excuse me. This front piece up here, it moves kind of snug. But, uh, you know, I have to use a rubber mount and kind of tap it. So, but it won't move too much. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i probably put most of the weight on the back. The engine, most of the engine will come to the back side of it here. So most of your weight will be here. That won't move too much in the front. And then you can, I'll leave a little adjustment here in the rear. So if you want to put a a Ford on there or a Buick or Mopar or whatever, you know, it shouldn't be a problem. But as you can see, I did cut an old engine stand up. I took the head, these pieces here, which this was a homemade engine stand at one time. Cut the head off, re-welded it to the, to the jack here. And the future plans to finish it up as far as the next step is I'll put here in here, I'll, I'll, I'll bring up my bracket square. I'll put a 45 on the top of it for the gauges. Uh, put a handle on it, might put a little compartment for tools and stuff. And then down here, more than likely, I'll have the fuel tank and the battery. So then the fun part is taking the engine off and trying to at least get a coat of paint on everything just to keep it from rusting. But like I said, I'm doing this right here on my garage floor which is pretty level. It would have been nice to have a welding table and get it up off the floor. And... But just taking my time and uh, you know, just trying to, trying to make it something that I can use and my buddies can use. I've, I've enjoyed doing it. Um, got, got a good deal on the metal. And I've kind of got bit, so... This is, like I said, this is my... my main project after this is over I'm sure I'll find something else to put together and I'll do the videos I said I've really enjoyed it so any questions or comments any of you guys out there got any good suggestions for me on this thing I, I I'm open to suggestions and I'm always eager to learn try new things so this is part three hopefully the next part it should be just about finished thanks a lot guys